So now we're going to scavenge. And get supplies for like a radio. Yeah. I'm probably just going to go back with a bunch of... Uh, I'll, I'll probably take a stack of water. And then just components and wood. I think there's a story piece Dude, in here. super fast. <laughs> yeah, see, that's a story piece. Story piece? One of the flyers dropped on the city. It reads, This is a zone of anti-terrorist operation. Persons remaining in the city will be treated as terrorist supporters. What? For your own and your family safety, leave Pagoran immediately. The army guarantees you a safe passage. Not many believe them after the atrocities they had committed. So is that saying you... They're like, if you stay here, we'll kill you. And if you leave, you'll be safe. But really, if you leave, they also kill you. Yeah, or, basically. Um, you can see some of the atrocities they commit. There's a supermarket. It's um, probably the most well-known, um, I guess, scene in the game. You can sometimes run into a woman there being harassed by a soldier. And you can either choose to step in and save her or he rips her. Oh. Yeah. They just show that? Uh, well, they don't show it, but they show her heavily. heavily they they show him, you know, saying, you know, you're a bitch. You'll do what I want. I'm the I'm the military or whatever. And then he like hits her and drags her to like the shack in the back. Hmm. And then you can see like the red lines popping up, like they're making noise, uh, and you can hear her crying. It's sad, and I don't like it. Yeah. Um, but that's probably the most well known, like thing from this game because it's this game doesn't pull any punches, you know. Yeah, too real. Yeah. And then, you know, that in itself is a tender subject for a lot of people. So. It, uh. I got some bullets. It's not terrible. Uh. But there's still a good haul. Um. We'll do at least one more trip here. But I want to keep my. I want to keep my crowbar. So let's see here. Coffee and cigarettes, they're basically two things. Like Bruno's a smoker, uh -huh. so he's happy. He, he was going to consume like two or three cigarettes a day uh, if he can. Mm -hmm. um, and that keeps his happiness up. When he doesn't, when he goes a long time without cigarettes, he becomes a little bitch. The, Same thing with yeah, coffee he, drinkers. He doesn't give up. Do what? It, after a while, they don't just like give up. <laughs> nope. They never lose the addiction. They just stay mad. Dumb. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's good medicine. Fertilizer's good later. I'll probably get a trader soon. So I'm going to take the valuables. I don't need bullets yet. We'll call that a run. Pavel is back. <laughs> AK, it's loading. <laughs> oh, we were raided. All mm -hmm. right. So someone tried to rob us. They must have been more scared than us, so they didn't do much harm. Too bad we had no weapons. Marco was wounded, but the attackers didn't steal anything. We should put more people on guard. So that sucks. Marco got slightly wounded. So that's part of the risk. That crowbar actually can count as a weapon, mm -hmm. but I took it with me. So that sucks. Uh, we're actually still just hungry, so I don't even have to cook today. Slightly wounded and hungry. You just go to sleep. Very tired. I actually just realized I used Pavel last night instead of Marco. I could have carried more, but it's fine. That's why I was saying, like, oh, this one's fast. Oh, yeah, I got you. Whoopsie. But with vegetables and meat and a little bit of fuel, like, this is cheaper water-wise. I think it usually takes, like, eight or something. Um... But he can cook two meals at once this way, which is nice. Instead of doing one at a time. Um, but I mean, he's just very tired. Go to bed. See you, bud. Hungry, slightly wounded, tired. But he's not sick anymore. Yeah, we recovered from everything. No, it was Marco that was sick. But he's not sick. Now he's just wounded. Hmm. Because I accidentally took the wrong person. And you didn't say anything. You just let me do it. Well, I, I don't know You big know smelly willy. <laughs> See if I can make... Run, idiot. <laughs> He's a, I'm sick. I'm slightly wounded. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Tired. I need a lot. I should have brought more. I'll see if the trader can get me some of that. He'll probably... He'll, he'll show up either today or tomorrow. 
I can upgrade the workshop though. That's good. It's a lot of components, but eh. I like to I like to upgrade this as quick as I can because you can make an axe hmm. and you can use that to break uh, wooden items and get a bunch of like fuel and wood for free because there's stuff like this little not everything that's wooden that you see here is actually breakable but a lot of it is ah there's my trader I forgot his name but he's my boy Starts with a J, I think, right? Have a look at what I brought. Trade. Oh, it's Franco. Never mind. <laughs> I was thinking J, James Franco. <laughs> um, but yeah, the trade system in this game, nothing is actually assigned to value. So you look, you click on this, and he's like, interesting, want to exchange? Very common stuff, not very interesting. Hmm. Nothing special, but not bad either. I'm going to... Exactly what I need. I can give you a lot for this. When you get your own computer, this would be a good game for you to stream. You think so? Like, yeah, you can do this and uh, talk to the chat. That'd be cool. I'm, I would be interested in streaming. It'd be fun. Yeah, you can do that on the channel or you can have your own. And then as you, as you trade him stuff, it's very generous of you means that you just need to add more shit. Uh, and then now it won't do. Try harder. Fine, we can have a deal. So I don't need these. I think these are herbal. Oh, uh, yeah. Herbs. Yeah, just herbs. I don't need that. So make a deal. I want those components. Um, I don't need jewels. Typically, it's best to try and do things in small trades so uh, you can milk it for yeah. as much as you can. So one of these was equal to eight of those herbs, uh, almost. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit less, but. And then sometimes you can try and squeeze out something else that has like a little bit less value. Yeah. Like you can have this for almost nothing. That's, I think, as cheap as something gets. So you're not going to be able to add value to that. Mm -hmm. Aren't you wanting a stove thing? Do what? Aren't you wanting a stove? Yeah. Um, But... With that, I might be able to upgrade this, and then I can see what I need. I need more of those parts. How long does he just stand in front of your door? I don't think he'll go away until you dismiss him. I could be wrong. Hmm. I want to scoop those up, see if a diamond's enough. Won't do. Um, herbal can, meds. Can you rob him? No, you can't do anything with him. Dumb. You can't rob traders. Uh, that's still very generous. That's nice. I don't really need water. Uh, canned food would be nice. Um, man, I don't need it till later. Take what the diamond works? back. <laughs> I can't have the whole stack. You cook. Okay. Get out of my sight. Okay. Upgrade this. And then hopefully I can make my axe. If I can make my axe, I can spend the rest of the day tearing down all the wooden stuff here. And then that'll give me fuel and just more wood to use for building. I don't remember if you need weapon parts or not for an axe. I wonder what it would look like if I turn the saturation way up. I don't know. Because there's slight saturation. <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared. I wonder if it'd look ugly. Probably. Like, what do I need? One weapon part and some more wood. Well, that's stinky. Hmm. All right. I think I left two weapon parts at that other place, but I'm gonna I'm gonna scavenge a different area. I think. Um. Well, I don't know if I need to. Because I know I left wood there. I think I left weapon parts. Do you remember? Huh? I think I, I think I left two of them because I said it wasn't worth bringing them. Because hmm. it wasn't a stack. So we're going to we're gonna go one more time. And I'm going to take the correct person this time. <laughs> Even though he's slightly wounded. Bruno's going to guard. <laughs> he's slightly wounded because you actually he's slightly took wounded the other guy. <laughs> sleeping bed. But this time I'll leave them with the crowbar so they'll... 
they'll have a weapon, which helps. But now I know there's nothing left to do here but search this fridge. Did I leave weapon parts? I sure did. Three of them. Good. Perfect. And I needed wood. Well, I don't need that much because I'm about to get free wood from the <laughs> base. Um. So at this point, I'm gonna. This is gonna be the last time I come here. Cigarette. I don't want the cigarette. Why not? He's gonna complain. Yeah, no, that's fine. He can complain. Take it. I'm gonna take the food. You have extra space. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No. You have. I would take Seven fertilizer, spaces. but I'm not close enough to using that yet. <laughs> um, I might even leave this one piece of food. I want all the components. I want these part parts, too. I don't want that food. I like to trade with sugar. There's a lot. I can come back later if I need to. I'm going to just take this wood. And then I could even bring the axe here. And chop stuff here if I wanted. Or you can kill people with mm. it. I mean, you can use it as a weapon. Can you not go on multiple runs in a day? No. No, it doesn't matter how... I think that's dumb. <laughs> well, there's travel time and stuff involved. Mm. So, like, I get that. It, it would be unbalanced if you could make multiple runs. I think. Because the game, the game is pretty well balanced. See, now we're very hungry. Bruno's already by the... Oh, look, we got a bio. I must get some food at all costs. Got to think of some way to do it. <laughs> you just have a stockpile of food right now. All this shelling, sniper fire, and lack of supplies makes you want to hide away, sit down, and cry. But we cannot let them crush our spirit. We have to show them that they can't take away our dignity. It's difficult here. But you know how we did it on our street? No, and you're not going to tell me either. <laughs> Ass clown. Very hungry, slightly wounded, recovering. Very hungry, tired. Okay. Actually, I want to build my axe before I use any supplies. I'll see if I can upgrade that. Give me my axe. I just need wood, so I can upgrade that soon. We'll just get to chopping. Make Bruno do it. Chop wood outside, or do you have to go on another run? No, I can chop some here. Like, this cupboard's probably breakable. Oh, okay. Um, I can chop down this chair, because, like I said, I don't really bother with chairs. You can make armchairs, which improve your happiness happy. more. makes <laughs> Yeah. That's so dumb. <laughs> but I'm not worried about their happiness. I mean, they could sit anywhere, but see, now we got all these axe. The adult axe like, Yes. Yes, the chairs. Yeah. I mean, what, it's just comfort. What year is this supposed to be? Maybe, like, Oops. current? Because that dude's got... Pretty normal glasses on. Yeah, it's it's a modern game. Just whatever year it came out, I guess, when it takes place. Probably like six years old or something. Look at that. Eight wood and four fuel. Bam. Now we can upgrade How'd this you get bad gas boy. out of that cupboard? <laughs> it's fuel, just wood. It's like wood chunks. Oh, okay. I want to upgrade my stove. Uh-oh. That's not my trader. That's probably somebody wanting to join. Yeah. Which is more mouths to feed, so it's... It can be a positive, it can be a negative. Depends on the character. But I love rushing the axe, because you just get so much materials out of it. If you reject them, does it make you sadder? Um, I think it can. But, um, it also could just be somebody asking for help. Sometimes you'll send a character with them for a little bit. Could it be a trap sometimes, like in Fallout? No. Okay, thank goodness you're here. A shell hit a tenement down the street and people are buried beneath the rubble. Please help me pull them out. Every pair of hands is needed. We will organize a makeshift hospital for the wounded at my home. I have some beds and medical supplies. Will you help? So Sounds good. Somebody has to go with them and then it's going to be like a delayed reward. So you'll be down a person for a minute. Yeah. For a day. And then um, it's usually not an instant reward when they come back. It'll be a, a day or two later. Oh, uh, yeah. So, mm. I'm going to have him give me a sec. I'm going to cook, and I'll, I'll probably just send Bruno. Oh, if you send someone that's hungry, do they feed them over there? No. That's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> but I can have him make a double meal. And then I'll have him eat, and I'll just have him go with them. Actually, I'll have him cook another meal before he leaves. Yeah. So that everybody can eat. I guess we have to eat before you can cook. 
I wouldn't mind another helping. <laughs> Badass. Okay, no, no, no. No, you don't get two meals in Click. a day. What's wrong with there you? There we go. You get one meal every <laughs> other day. <laughs> Fat shit. Is the platform? Yeah. Okay. You go chop. Cook another meal. Just a one meal. Uh, and then another strategy, too. If you have, if you cook a bunch of food and you leave it on the stove, it can't be stolen, hmm. which is nice. So you're going to go help. Yes. You go eat. Oh, he got a bio too. If a shell hit our shelter, we could be in a similar situation to those people. They could count on us. I hope we can count on them. So we did something nice, so they had something to say. We just had to go help our neighbors. They would probably do the same for us. But, I mean, I just got so much wood and plenty of fuel. And I think... One more thing out there, and then this I can is break a the huge chair. house. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's got a weird layout too. If you look at it, mm -hmm. like why is there a ladder? <laughs> up? Like, well, I guess that's just the attic, but I don't know. Why do you have two attics? <laughs> yeah, it's like a huge attic, and it's got a bathroom in it. I think. No, I guess it's not a bathroom. Anyway. And technically, there's another part of the house you don't even see. <laughs> Mm, is there though? Yeah. <laughs> Where? Huh? Like there's just a wall behind that ladder, but like oh, there's yeah, I guess another right. side of that wall. Yeah, I guess I guess so. Um, I'll go ahead and chop this chair, and then I'll end the day. And then Daddy's gonna take a pee break. I gotta drain my balls. <laughs> okay be right back are you enjoying this enough yeah this is if i was a viewer i'd watch this would you <laughs> yeah oh god plus it's it's mostly you talking so if a josh fan comes along down the road they'll be like oh wow yeah <laughs> we, we haven't done like a dual episode in a long time either oh what like just me and you oh yeah we haven't Resident Evil, which still isn't out. Get food. Oh, Josh is back. Talking to yourself, okay. No, no, no. I'm talking to, I'm talking to Alondra. Only for three seconds you call Alondra. I know. <laughs> I don't know. Am I boring you that bad? No, she, she said, <laughs> I'm throwing her under the bus. What'd she say? What is Alice Paul? She yeah, said, are you still with your boyfriend? Yeah, call me now. I need attention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's Ashley. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Please don't leave any of that in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this is going to be cut out. Yeah. All right, bye. <laughs> it doesn't even say it back. God, what a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this is definitely how much percentage you have already taken. So that's good to note because I'm not going to be going back to the shelled cottage. Yeah. Um,. I don't want to deal with that because I don't have any weapons. Church. You want to? You want the I want to get into a fight. Well, I, I can't get into a fight yet. I don't uh, have any. Like I don't even have a knife. So okay. If I get into a fight, I'm probably just dead. Garage then. That sounds. But safe. I mean, you could. You can trade, and there's some like. The garage or the church, but maybe the church is like a. This still has people, but you can rob them. But you. You have to kill the son. I really? think. Yeah, I believe that's how that works. But I think you kill the son and then the, the father just like stops. They seem to like they, they were nice from the description. Mm, I'm going to go to the decrepit squat because this place is nobody. okay. There's Some homeless weapons. people there, but they don't fight you or anything. Yeah, there's weapons too. Um, and then Pavel, normally I'd have him sleep, but he's the only one at home. So he's going to guard. And I'm not going to. So I think a shovel what, what would be Marco's good Marco's coming back the next day. Uh, that's Bruno. Bruno, my bad. Yeah, he'll come back the next day. Ooh, oh, rain. this is pretty. Reminds me of uh, that Rockstar game, L.A. Noir. L.A. Noir was pretty good. Yeah, uh, I tried to play it on Switch. It looked so bad. Did it? <laughs> like well, the game is old. Yeah, I know, but they also had to bump down the resolution and 
Yeah. It, like, least. half of it's on a cartridge and the other half you have to download. <laughs> yeah. Is this... Oh, I think this is the one where... There's a guy here. Just one guy and he asks for food. Um... And there's food in there? Yeah, it, well... I think so. Please help me for food, I'm starving. Oh, He's like, go. bro, look around for five seconds. This, this symbol right here. Sneaking. You can, you can stealth kill people. Oh. Oh, do people like walk back and forth or something? Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. There's a lot of stuff here. And is this, are these places randomized? Like, so somebody could be here? No, that, that's what I was saying earlier. There's, there's like two possibilities per place. Oh, okay. Um, and that's like, those are the options. It it is a coin toss, or there's settings to make certain stuff harder. So sometimes, like you know, you'll always get the harder of the two, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you can do custom scenarios where you can make everything hostile, or like you can literally choose which locations are available and when, um, stuff like that, which is neat. You just have to beat the game once. Mm -hmm. That's barred from the other side. I think there's story in the attic in this one. More stoof. Uh, bars, you have to have a... Um, I just upgraded that metal workshop so you can make uh, files. So you can oh, file okay. through those. Sounds like that's going to take a long time. <laughs> no, the file's pretty quick. <laughs> um... Is that a homeless dude over where that fire is? Over here, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is the house where he's like an artist or something. Um, so he was useless before the war. <laughs> he was like me. <laughs> <laughs> Not that y'all don't have talent and you make cool pictures, but you're, you're no you benefit to society. So How are you helping society? <laughs> <laughs> we can live without pretty pictures. <laughs> yeah. Well, then people are like, how, how dare you? Um, if you watch TV, then you are participating in art. Right. So, um, you can't say they're useless to society. The letter says, dearest Masha, I don't know Bro. if that's the correct pronunciation. I found shelter among the homeless. I am no longer a teacher or an artist. I am one of them now. There's not much food. So some of my friends already left us, but do not be worried. I too will seek more appropriate refuge as soon as I've finished my painting. <laughs> Yeah. So this guy stayed to finish a painting. He's down here. Kill him. No, I'm not going to kill him. <laughs> that would make my people sad, especially if you kill somebody for no reason. Oh, boy. You don't want to deal with that. Someone probably painted this picture recently. There are rich-looking people sitting together in a littered, ruined building. A metaphor of some sort, I believe. Well, show us. <laughs> right. No, no, no. Talking about this painting, you don't even get to look at it. Up close. There's a little ho homeless man down there. Um, oh, is the homeless man not the painter? No, he is. Deposit all my goods. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> is it that looking like multiple trips or stuff you don't need? No, it's multiple trips. Rubble pile. This is locked. Good evening, sir. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying God, to so take much everything here. from you right now. I'm very hungry. Could you help me? And if you bring him food, then he can give you a reward. Was it his painting? <laughs> no, but he does finish his painting and he leaves it in there so you can see it, I think. But I didn't bring food because I forgot. But I'll be coming back anyway. Sure. <laughs> He's talking to you. Whatever. Okay. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lots of sugar. Tons of wood. Oh, these are really good, too. What are those? Looks like Electrical Among Us. parts. <laughs> Among <laughs> Us. Yeah, they're captains. Or whatever you call Crewmates. those guys. Crewmates. This is like the third time. <laughs> Four, six, eight. Goodbye. Citizen. Do not follow. <laughs> 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 
but usually scenarios like that if somebody's asking for something they'll give you like two chances to do it so like if you stumble upon them the first time if you don't know the game you're not going to run into a place like that with food you Mm -hmm. know why would you yeah now that i understand the game uh the i mean i'd play this pop-ups aren't too bad yeah I mean, you can play it now that we've shared our no. stuff. Okay. <laughs> Bruno returned after helping pull out some people buried under that collapsed apartment building. I'll play it alone probably if I get the urge. Poor guy. If only I could spare some food, I would have. <laughs> but I have to think about the others. And I didn't walk around with meat in my pockets. <laughs> we need to stick together and help each other. Otherwise, we might share the fate of that man from the squat. Slightly wounded... Tired, hungry, I want you to go ahead and sleep again. Hungry, very tired, get to bed. Hungry, very tired. Make a third bed. (laughs) Nah. Not worried about the third bed. So, now we can start boarding up. Which is good. Um, Herbal garden, ooh, trap for small animals. This one's kind of a... It's good. I always build them, but it's kind of like a... um, you can you can set bait and then it can take like a very long time to get one meat from it because mm-hmm. you eat rats. Um, rainwater collector is good, but I have plenty of water. I want to make a radio. We don't need a heater yet. I don't really care right now about armchairs, but the, it's the herbal garden. You can improve this bad boy to make vegetables. Really good for your food situation. What's the name of this game? Days Gone. No, that was a zombie game. Uh, the, uh, the art of war or something. The war. This on war us. of mine. The war of mine. This war of mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, there's the, too the many war, war games. Some... <laughs> Days Gone. Days Gone was a zombie game that came out like last year, or the year before. That Day- wasn't that good. Uh, Days Gone sounds like. Uh, it sounds like what this game would be called because of the day mechanic. Yeah, I could see that. But look at that. I can grow fertilizer with food. Or with vegetables. Huh. Wait, but what? you don't want to make fertilizer. You want to scavenge it. What's the um, name of the game? <laughs> cut this out. <laughs> this war of mine. Okay. Looking it up. Yeah. I want to make a radio. I like to put this up here. What are you looking for? Huh? I was just looking at the length of it. Oh, yeah. It, it's a random number of days. It can be anywhere from, I think, 30 to 60. Maybe 90 days is the longest. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, it says that the main story is 10 hours. And if you want to finish everything, 29 hours. Yeah. Well, were you were you seeing if we were going to pick this up again or something? Uh, Basically seeing how much we could finish of the game. How much we can milk it for. In a day. <laughs> yeah. All right, now we have the radio. This gives you a lot of useful information. So, most animals have disappeared from the streets. Keep that in mind when buying meat from dubious sources. And then you can tune it. Classical music's playing. The upcoming days should still be nice and warm. Perfect for a stroll in the park. Military radio. (laughs) And so, like, if you leave it on classical, do they... This is important. The city of Pagoran is suffering extreme shortages of even the most vital supplies. If this goes on, people will soon become scavengers, scouring the city for anything of use. Oh. This basically tells you how violent people are, how worried you need to be about outbreaks and being robbed. Yeah. Um, so right now, pretty worried. No, if- right now, it's it's that's pretty calm. Nothing's happened yet. <laughs> Nothing's happened. Extreme shortages. Yeah. Um, but there's not riding the street yet. Yeah. And then... You get the the weather forecast is on here, and it'll it'll tell you about the market. So like sometimes it'll be like, oh, there's an extreme shortage of coffee, uh, or cigarettes or whatever. Mm-hmm. And that when those messages are playing, they're more valuable to traders, and they cost more if you if you're trying to make your people happy. Bruno is still not sad, which is good. Probably another day or two, and he'll be sad, <laughs> and he'll be sad every day, and that's fine. Fuck him. Man, why don't you just give them the cig? You said no to the cigarettes earlier. Because they're not worth hauling back, like, to make one person not sad. That's the whole point of the game is to, like, balance what you need versus what you want. 
and um you know stuff like that but cigarettes aren't necessary and i'm not at a point right now where i'm scavenging places and i have tons of empty space to just pull cigarettes back mm. if i find like an entire stack of cigarettes i would <laughs> consider it um like if you find 10 of them that's nice but for now like i'm not gonna get a trader today um very tired. he needs to sleep yeah. though he's just tired and hungry He's, He's not, not even, even tired. tired now. Get out of bed, you lazy bitch. <laughs> we need food. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I need food. Mm. Suck it up. You could say that for all of them. <laughs> yeah.